Blessed be the name of God, for he is full of mercy and grace, and his love endures forever. God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. God, we thank you for being a true living God. God, we thank you for watching over us. And God, we thank you for not sending the full punishment that we deserve. God, we ask that we all turn back towards you, for we know that you would have no man to perish, but that we will all come to repentance. So God, we ask that we turn away from wickedness and that we turn back towards our first love. We turn back to the one who first loved us. God, we know that we are born in sin, but we do not have to continue to be sinners. We do not have to stay in sin. So God, again, I ask that we all turn towards you. Open up your hearts and your ears to the word of God. Joel 2 verses 12 and 13. Even now declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. He relents from sending calamity. As it is said in your word, God, even now, let us all return our hearts back to you with fasting, giving up these things that we hold on so dear to. God, in weeping and mourning and recognizing that we don't deserve you. We don't deserve your grace, your mercy. God, let us come back with a sincere and contrite heart. God, let us not tear our garments in showing an outward expression of our repentance. But God, let us rend our hearts. Let us tear our hearts and have a true godly and sorrowful, repentant heart. And let us turn back to you. Everyone out there, let us return back to the Lord our God, for he is gracious and compassionate. He cares for us. He cares for our well-being. And moreover, he cares for our soul. God does not want us to perish, but he wants us to obtain everlasting life and to be with him in heaven. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. We know that God is slow to anger. God is patient and he's abounding in love, for he sent his one and only begotten son. God loved us even unto death, and he relents from sending us our due punishment our due disaster for there seems a way that is right unto a man but that way leads unto death so god again let us rend our hearts and return to you let us truly be sorrowful for our sins let us truly be sorrowful for turning away from you from turning our hearts away from you from turning our minds away from you let us have repentance let us turn back to you for your word says that you are gracious compassionate, slow to anger, and abounding in love. God, let all of your people who are called by your name return unto you. We ask all these things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.